T minus 20 seconds and counting. The launch command has now been issued. Start. T minus 15 seconds and counting. The second umbilical tower is now separating. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Soyuz TMA-22 with Dan Burbank, Anton Shakotkarov, and Anatoly Ivanishin as they head toward the International Space Station due for your rendezvous and docking on Tuesday. Visiting vehicle officer reporting good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. Stage one thrusters. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. And now the boat, everything's okay on board, the crew feels good. Shikaflarov and even Ishan there continuing to look over their procedures. Pressure is inaudible. One minute into the flight, all systems nominal. Velocity now approaching 1,100 miles per hour. Uh, the G loads are increasing slightly. Copy. Eighty seconds. Everything's on, okay on board. The crew feels good. Copy. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. The crew reporting that they feel good. All systems nominal. The Russian ground team there just outside of Moscow continues to monitor all the systems. One and two thrusters operating nominally. Copy. One hundred and ten seconds. Pitch. Your roll, nominal. Two minutes into the flight, the roll, the pitch, and the yaw of the Soyuz, all nominal, according to the Russian flight Two controllers. Decreasing, copy. The four strap-on boosters have been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour. Parameters are nominal. Stage two thrusters operating nominally. Everything's okay on board. The crew feels great. Uh, we confirm the jettison of fairing. Copy. Activating our system. Copy. Two minutes, 55 seconds into the flight, the escape tower and launch route have been jettisoned. Mode. Okay, how do you copy? Uh, the vehicle is stable. There's our first live view of Dan Burbank there, sitting in the right seat of the Soyuz. The motion is smooth. Anton Shikaplarov there in the middle. He is the commander of this vehicle. nominal. And just to the right of frame is Eva Nishin. All three crew members continuing to watch over the procedures and watch the performance of the vehicle. Stage two thrusters operated nominally. Everything's okay on board. The crew feels good. Copy. Uh, the flight controllers continue to confirm that the Soyuz is flying true and nominal. Two hundred and thirty seconds. Article is stable. Copy. Stage two thrusters operating nominally. Pitch your roll nominal. Now we feel slight G loads. Copy. Four minutes and thirty seconds into the flight. Parameters are nominal. Uh, 
280. Page 2 separation confirmed. Page 3 thrusters are on. 4 minutes 57 seconds into the flight, the ground team is confirming that the second stage has separated. The core stage engine is now finished and dropping away. The Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. This engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Three hundred and thirty. Everything's okay on board. The crew feels good. Everything is nominal. Copy. Control system parameters are nominal. 350 seconds. Flight is nominal. Six minutes into the flight. Everything still going nominal. Pitch your all nominal. And we can feel a stable thruster operation, very uh, light vibration. Copy. 380 seconds. Stage 3 thruster is operating nominally. Four hundred seconds. Six minutes and forty-five seconds into the flight. Stable. Everything's okay on board. The crew feels good. Four hundred and twenty. Pitch your all nominal. Seven minutes and 15 seconds into the flight, the crew still uh, operating nominally. reporting that everything is good, everything feels fine, the Soyuz flying as expected. Vehicle. Inside the International Space Station, Mike Fossum, Sergei Volkov, and Satoshi Furukawa are watching inside the Destiny Laboratory Copy you. Uh, as their fellow Expedition 29 colleagues head up toward the International Space Station. They'll be docking with Orbiting Complex coming up on Tuesday evening. Parameters are nominal. The velocity of the Soyuz is almost 13,500 miles per hour now. Four hundred and ninety. Vehicle is stable. 500 seconds. Mission is nominal. Pitch your all nominal. Copy. Everything's okay on board. We are ready. Copy. Five hundred and thirty seconds. Stage three thrusters are off. So separation confirmed. Confirmation of third stage separation. And as you can see from the angry bird floating up above Shikaflorov, the crew has reached orbit. I uh, am um, handing the control over to Mission Control Moscow. Have a good flight. Astrid, this is MCC Moscow. How copy of Moscow? The visiting vehicle officer confirming that the antennas and the solar arrays on the Soyuz have been successfully deployed. 
The Soyuz is now in its preliminary orbit of 143 by 118 miles. No. That orbit is going to be raised systematically over the course of the next two days, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station. Control of the spacecraft from here on will be overseen from the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. Shadow uh, refresh is off. We are sending E-13. You go to send E-13. Okay. Close of RPV and we're standing by for the first measurements in NSA and the oil pressure. E-13 has been sent, closing. Number one is closed. Number two is closed. 